two, three, four. Okay, hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Welcome to another video. Uh, today we're just going to be talking about timing, all right? Which is probably the most important thing to work on um, as drummers. I mean, well, really any kind of musician, but uh, drummers especially. So, uh, so today I got an exercise that I want to do. Uh, with you guys. It's not, it's pretty common. A lot of guys out there do it, but I, I find it to be really, really good. All right. And uh, so it's real simple. Okay. And, uh, and all it is, is you're not going to be, you're not going to play to a metronome. You're going to be your own metronome. Okay. And you're going to count, which is, you know, we're always told to count, right? But instead of counting all the subdivisions like you might normally do, like one E and uh, or one and uh, two and uh, or one to Lee and Lee or whatever the rhythm ha happens to be, you're just gonna count the quarter note as if you were playing to a metronome, except you're the metronome. So you're just gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that's it, okay? Uh, and as far as what you play, play anything you can think of. Okay, this can be done on the pad, it can be on, done on the drums, play anything, especially syncopated ideas, okay? Now, the opening sequence was just me just improvising, just some random stuff, random like root of mill passages, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple uh, of example, you know, ideas that, that you could do. Uh, to to practice this, but ultimately whatever whatever you come up with, practice. I mean, just anything you play, just practice, just counting the quarter note along to it. Okay, 
So a couple, um, a couple of my favorites that I like to do is um, that that are a lot of fun. Is you can sit there and you can do, um, like just play the E's and U's, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, that's pretty tricky. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that's a good one. You could do, um, so you could do every third sixteenth note, okay, which would be uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, those are a couple of ideas. Um, now there, I'm just basically playing. Um, phrasings. Uh, you then could, you know, take an idea that utilizes that phrasing. So, for example, maybe play, um, you know, paradiddle diddles as like thirty second notes. Okay, one, two, three, four, 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 one. Two, three, four, one. Okay, something like that. Uh, some other ideas that are fun is you could do. Um, oh man, you could do uh, f take groupings of fives as sixteenth notes. Okay, but accent just the first and third. So, um, so if you're counting all all the subdivisions, it'd be. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Okay, so it's a five note grouping as sixteenth notes, but you're just going to be hitting or accenting the first and third. Okay, so that would be like this: one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that's pretty tricky, right? Uh, let's see, what are, what, are, what are some others that are fun? Uh, and then from there, I mean, again, you could start playing different rudiments. Uh, you could also sit there and do, um, you know, triplets are a lot of fun, and that's what I was um, playing in in the opening sequence. So you could sit there and maybe do like eighth note triplets accenting every four, every fourth note. So like one, two, three, four, 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 one. Okay, so there I started playing the triplets, and then I dropped the non the non accents and just played the phrasing. Okay, so that's an example. You could you know take eighth note triplets and play them as fives. So um, so one two three four 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 one Okay, so hopefully you're, you're kind of seeing a pattern. The sky's the limit. Anything that you can play already, like groove, fill, or just any kind of syncopated rhythm or phrase, I mean, literally just play, just play anything, as if you were just turning on your metronome to practice, and just play whatever comes to mind and see if you can sit there and feel the subdivisions while counting the downbeat. That's it. That's essentially the exercise, okay? So um, yeah, and you can really you can really go pretty pretty crazy with this, uh, and you know you could also then maybe go to like a couple other ideas is you could do um, uh, let's see you could do sixteenth note triplets okay, and maybe play the sixteenth note triplets and accent every fourth, so you got one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay? So there you go. And you could even do um, you could even do the fives with sixteenth note triplets. Okay, let me see if I can do this. I think I can. No, well, let's find out. Okay. One, two, three, four, 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 one. Okay? So literally anything that 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 you can you can do any kind of phrasing uh, uh, you want the 16 note triplets you could go one two three four one two three four one so there I was just uh, playing 16 note triplets but I was accenting to not accenting to accenting to not accenting to just you know back and forth okay so you know yeah taking groupings of fives and sevens um, you can obviously do um, um, any of the rudiments. Um, yeah, literally, again, the, the sky's the limit. So I hope this helps you. Um, it's a really good exercise, okay, just to, just to get grounded and feeling your syncopations because it's pretty easy to go one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, okay? But when you have to start, you know, like going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there I was playing like the E's. Okay, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Or uh, so, or, or any of those kind of weird uh, different, you know, subdivisions, it can start being pretty hard, hard to do. It's like almost like singing and, and playing at the same time. So it can, it can be pretty difficult. Um, but, um, but anyway, try it out. I find it to be a great exercise just again to ground your timing. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so that was just paradiddles as triplets moving the accent around. <laughs> so, again, anything you can come up with. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, exercise, timing exercise video, and I hope you guys are doing well, and we will talk to you guys soon. Okay, take care.